the Lauren Dodery, Dodery, Dodery. I'm sorry, yeah. D O H, I guess. Um, I'd like to speak uh, about something that you just were working on in the workshop, the solar panel um, ordinance changes. Um, specifically, I'd like to address the issue of the front-facing solar panels. Um, this is an issue that's uh, near to me, dear to me, because I, uh, as a solar user myself and an advocate, um, I can appreciate the difference between being able to put them on whatever side of your house you can, as opposed to being restricted. Um, the, uh, the city of Allen uh, recognizes the benefit of solar, that, that it's a sustainable energy source and uh, affordable as well. Um, and I know that because when I look on top of the roof of these very buildings, there are solar panels. Um, and I can see those solar panels from the street. Um, so although technically they don't face the street, they are easily visible from the street. Um, so I, I, would, I would question the um, the desire to limit their visibility in residential areas um, due to some residents believing that they're unsightly um, because obviously the city <laughs> feels that they can put them on their roof um, within uh, the street visibility. Um, also, the ordinance saying that you can't have them on the front of your house um, impacts residents differently because if your house faces south, um, that means that your south-facing roof roof line, which um, would be the most appropriate place to put solar panels, would be restricted. Um, and so you would not be able to take advantage of the solar um, efficiencies that you would like to because your, your house faces south, whereas your neighbor across the street who faces north would be able to put as many panels on their south-facing roof as they would like. Um, so uh, I, I would like to know um, if research had been done regarding the surrounding cities, like the research done uh, regarding the backyard chickens, to show what the other cities around us were allowing. Um, as far as what was written in the memo, it says that um, other cities have minimal restrictions and regulations, um, and also that the number of permit requests has been increasing noticeably in, the, in recent months. And I believe that's because solar is really coming into its own and becoming an affordable um, energy source. And we in Texas do have the power to choose. Um, and for those of us that would like to choose this affordable and sustainable energy source, uh, we'd like to be able to use it um, and realize its full benefit by putting it on the most appropriate uh, part of our roof. So um, I believe that's all I have to say, but thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.